Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the two big economic questions. And the first big economic question is how do choices end up determining what, how, and for whom good, goods and services get produced? The second big economic question is when does choices made in the self-interest promote social interest? And pretty much what is meant by that is... Uh, for example, when does my purchase of a PlayStation 3 promote society's interests? How do I, purchasing a game console, help uh, the general public? And that's the kind of stuff we will discuss in this video. Now, the first question, the what, how, and for whom. Now, the first thing you got to know is goods and the definition of goods and services. And you probably already know what goods and services are. They're pretty much the objects that people value and produce to satisfy human wants. And that brings us to the what part of the first big economic question, what? Or you can say, what are we producing? The broad answer for this would be uh, economics. Uh, well, before that, let's pretty much go through an example. Um, so what what are we producing? So for example, people choosing, uh, the general public choosing hybrid cars uh, for, or choosing hybrid cars because they're popular answers, what are we going to produce? And the businesses can see right away that the public uh, are, are wanting cars, so what they are going to produce is cars. However, answering this question will probably raise more questions such as what determines the quantity of cars to produce. And those are the kind of questions that uh, arises in, uh, in the, the what part of the first big economic question. Uh, pretty much more questions. And uh, yeah, it's pretty qualitative, but uh, yeah, it's pretty qualitative and you get a pretty broad answers, but economics provides some of the answers for these questions and that's all you really need to know for this. Now the how part of the first big economic question is how are we producing it? Uh, pretty much the, first, the definition you need to know here is factors of production. The factors of production are pretty much the resources needed to produce the goods and services. So to build our car, we would probably need uh, glass for the wind, uh, for the windshield, uh, metal for uh, for that big metal casing in the car, that shell, uh, chassis or whatever. And the factors of production are grouped into four categories. And these four categories are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. So land is pretty much a no-brainer. Almost everything needs to be produced on land because we don't see factories floating in fat air. And labor is, you already know what labor is. I'm pretty sure most of us already uh, did work before. Uh, that's labor, the work time and work effort put into making the goods and services. So if you probably worked at McDonald's, that's, that's labor for you. That's slave labor because you're getting paid such a minimum wage for your for your time and effort, but that's still labor. Now the third one is capital and human capital, and uh, yeah, pretty much what you need to know is human capital is the quality of labor that comes from education, work experience, etc. Pretty much, for example, uh, knowledge and skill are both examples of human capital. Now capital are tools, machines, buildings, etc. used to produce goods and services. So this capital is what we can touch. Human capital is what we can't touch. So capital is tangible as I've written here. We can touch, we can smell, we can taste it. But we probably don't want to taste the building anyways because it probably tastes like dog crap. And human capital is intangible. We, we can't touch it. We can't touch knowledge. We can't touch skill. We can gain it, but we can't touch smell or taste it. The last part, entrepreneurship, pretty much they're the human resources that organizes land, labor, and capital. So your big boss that uh, that's that, that tells you what to do at your work, or if you are the boss, you probably know what you are doing. Uh, you're the person, this or you or that person is the person that uh, organizes, puts the money in, buys the, buys the factories and everything, sets up everything so you can actually do your work. Now, this last part of the first question is for whom? So for who are we producing it for? Now, who gets what depends on the income people earn. 
Uh, and that is pretty much the rule of this world, I guess. Uh, so, like, uh, I guess Bill Gates can can uh, buy millions of jets or, or hundreds of jets since he's a billionaire, but the guy living on the street can probably uh, buy half a burger, half a McDonald's burger, and that's the kind of question that we answer here. For whom? For who are we producing it for? But um, but what what really what we really have to uh, talk about or learn in this case is uh, these four points, which are testable material because they they actually appeared on my test. Is uh, you can pretty much memorize this. Memorize that land earns rent, labor earns wages, capital earns interest, and entrepreneurship earns profit. And you can think of it as. Uh, well, land and labor is pretty intuitive. It's capital and entrepreneurship that's kind of uh, not intuitive. We know that land earns rent because just think about you owning a, uh, owning a house, you can earn rent on that. And labor earns wages, but you already know that. Uh, you, 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 probably everybody has worked for a job and they earned a, earned a salary or wage. Capital earns interest. Now, when, when we're talking about capital, think, Think of like uh, think of like investments. Now you know that uh, you know that when you give a loan or something, or when you get a loan, you have to pay interest. So think of investments or loan. That's ki that's kind of capital because it involves money, right? So then, uh, so then the money that's given from the bank as a loan will earn interest for the bank. Now entrepreneurship. You just gotta remember that it's profit. Everybody, every person who starts their own prof, uh, businesses would want to uh, earn a profit, and that's let's just say it's business, business venture. You're starting a business. You want to earn a profit, and that's uh, entrepreneurship for you. And remember to remember these four points, and these four points, these four categories. And yeah, I guess I'll just end this video here and we'll talk about this more in the next video or we'll get onto the next topic actually. But yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next